All right, Coach, you get the uh, the split with number one, um, Denver, over the weekend. Um, uh, you know, great performance Friday, and then and obviously a little bit of a hiccup there on Saturday. Uh, you know, just recap uh, the weekend and how you saw it. Well, certainly uh, our main focus uh, going into the weekend was to play a, a solid team game. Um, when you're playing Denver, that's the kind of uh, profile they have as a team. They've got uh, four units that compete, play hard up front, and then they're – Defense is very solid, so they play a, an aggressive, uh, tight checking, but yet offensive uh, transition team. So we need to be very solid against them. Need to play with energy. Need to play with composure. Play smart, and, and we certainly did that on Friday night. All of the ingredients of a, an exciting hockey game were there. Uh, it was fun to watch from where I was, and I'm sure it was fun for the fans too. Very aggressive, very fast, very physical. Uh, the way that I believe both teams would, would like to play. And we stayed uh, true to the task and, and stayed diligent in what we are doing and stayed in the battles and found a way to win that one. Um, had some great saves, as, as you need when you, uh, you win. Saturday night, uh, you know, as I mentioned in the post-game press conference, uh, right from the get-go, we seemed to have a little bit of a different mandate. And, and for whatever reason, we seemed to be uh, too consumed with individual activity rather than playing a collectively strong team game, and, and it hurt us. And um, you know, we we chased the game all night because of that. Something that we've had a good handle on this year, for the most part, our our, our discipline in terms of unnecessary penalties, we let get away from us as well. We took four tripping penalties in the first period, which you have to avoid and put them on early power plays, which which they took advantage of. So, uh, a disappointing night. Um, certainly when you win the first game, you want that second one as bad, and uh, we, we didn't get it done there. So have to look at it, analyze it, but I think the bottom line is we talked with our team today. We took a look at some of the goals against, to look, took a look at some of the unnecessary penalties, but we don't want to make that game into more than what it is. Our team's played solid hockey of late. We know what we have to do. There was no penalty skate tonight. today. There was no calling out or chewing out individual players. I don't believe in that necessarily anyways. But to me, it was a matter of reflecting, looking at it, moving on, having a great practice, and preparing for a Colorado college team that is not the same team that a lot of NCHC opponents played at the start of the year. They're going to come in and play us very hard, and we need to be ready for them. So we've learned from that game uh, against Denver, and now we need to apply it to our next game against Colorado College. Touching on CC, you know, they were <clears throat> really hot up until last week when they, they got swept by Omaha. But historically for Western Michigan, they've been a really tough nut to crack. Uh, you know, why is that? Well, uh, I mean, I think uh, CC plays uh, a fast game. Uh, they play with a lot of pace. They're, they're very good in terms of defending, and, and they're good in their transition game. So if you turn the puck over in front of them rather than getting it behind them, you're going to be in trouble because they'll they'll take it to you. And so, um, I mean, we've had great games with Colorado College because they've played hard. Um, Coach Havlett always has them well prepared for the games against us. And, you know, they're either overtime games, uh, shootout games, one-goal hockey games, I believe, almost all of them. And, uh, you know, we need to make sure that we're aware that they're going to come in here and play us real hard. I'm just interested in, in the mentality coming off a weekend like that how you classify it, you know, as a, it, it's definitely a success. You beat the number one team in the country, shut them out. Then you get beat up on Saturday. How do you look at a weekend like that? And, and what's the message? Is it, I mean, c because you got to do better than you did Saturday, but you played really, really well on Friday. Well, it, it's, it's, uh, I, I'll take it from the coach's perspective and, and uh, um, you lose any game we lose, um, you know, I take pretty serious and, uh, we sit and we talk about it as a staff for quite a while afterwards. And uh, I almost feel you have to serve some sort of a penance as a coach when you lose. And I hate losing because I know I'm going to have a rough night afterwards. But you get up the morning, in the morning, you, you look at it and say, we played hard. Let's be smart here. Let's not overreact to this situation. Let's do the things that you always do. And that's preparing your team for the next outing. It's not a matter of penalizing people. It's a matter of making sure that you recognize what needs to be done to move ahead. And that's what we took from that game. But it doesn't mean that I liked it or I felt good about it, and I'm glad I didn't meet you after the game because I probably wouldn't have been very friendly. <laughs> so it's exactly the way that it, uh, it works. And uh, 
You know, it used to be in the old days in Roman society when they would lose a family member, they'd cut their finger off. And, you know, I've got a few fingers in my hand, but I've been tempted after a lot of games there when we haven't played very well. Um, you know, you, you feel it for sure, but we're optimistic about how our team's played this year, and we're not going to let one game derail us. What's allowed Ben Blacker to be so successful, and, and is it a success you anticipated him having so quickly? Well, you know, we've had uh, Ben Blacker on our, our recruiting list for uh, quite a number of years, um, you know, while he was still playing junior in Canada. Uh, helped to get him to Cedar Rapids of the USHL. He had two great years there, so we knew Ben was a, a good goalie and, and a great competitor. You're still never totally sure. I mean, we could have... Sidney Crosby is a 14-year-old on our list, and they're still not be totally sure until they get here. But he's come in, he's a worker, uh, he battles in practice, and you know he's got that background where his percentage, save percentage has always been high at every le level, as is his goals against. So uh, I think the other thing is that he will acknowledge that our players tend to block a lot of shots, and they sacrifice for each other. And that, that's that ability to be a a solid team player there, and we need to we need to have more of that. You're going to interview later here in this press conference uh, Michael Rebery, who one of our seniors, who will play his hundredth game on on Friday, and, and Michael plays hard and competes all the time. Is an example of that kind of guy that uh, Ben Blacker's talking about. Guys that work and, and get after it here, and I'm sure Michael will tell you that he wasn't very happy with the game afterwards, and he's one of the guys that, that takes it very personal as well. So. Let's <laughs> go.